gonna be my first um, Wendy's breakfast mukbang. It's also a coronavirus mukbang. Today is actually St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. So I got the honey butter chicken biscuit. This is what it looks like. I also got the potato wedges. Now I have had Wendy's breakfast before, probably about two years ago. These look amazing. They actually are amazing. One of my coworkers brought it for me. Amazing. But they only had it at like two places in Atlanta and I wasn't going there. Chloe, mm -mm. last time I gave you food during a mukbang, they thought that you took a bite and then I took a bite because some of the trolls are not very smart. So I can't read you on camera anymore, I'm sorry. <laughs> so chicken biscuit, also a Red Bull because I've had to get up at like the crack of dawn every day and I'm tired. This is totally not a keto meal. I'm eating keto for dinner though. Mmm. 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 You would like this. Yeah. But this is a lot of bread. So I'm going to take the bottom biscuit off. So how are you guys doing? How is Corona affecting you? Are you guys able to get everything that you need? There's so much going on. It's so crazy. I really feel for the people who have to still go to work. Some of my friends who work in the healthcare field, work at airports. Yeah, it's just crazy. Mm. So during these times, we have to be thankful for the little things like sugar-free Red Bull and Wendy's breakfast. I think I want some ketchup. <sighs> so, uh, I clearly forgot to shake it. So during this corona apocalypse, I'll be vlogging because I want to remember this. And also I feel like a lot more of you guys will be at home now. And so this will give you something to watch. I feel like you guys want to see. Um, a show I've been watching, I think it's called Contagion. If it's not, I'll annotate the actual name of the show. But it's creepy because it's actually about a viral outbreak in Atlanta. And that's where I live. But everything that they were doing in that show, they should have been doing in real life. I've also watched Outbreak and Contagion. So maybe the show on Netflix. I don't know what it's called. Where it's really good. Now is definitely the time to catch up on all your Netflix and YouTube. And if you guys have been watching, or if you watch the first Corona vlog, or if you will, you're going to see that this whole keto thing, it's so hard to do um, during like a natural disaster or a viral disaster, anything like that, because one, you're sitting at home all day and it's stressful. So like, I feel like everyone, especially on Instagram, everyone is talking about just eating a bunch of snacks. Now I traditionally don't snack, so I'm trying not to. But I have been, but I would say about half of my snacks are healthy. I'm just trying to be good when I can. But honestly, it's like at this point, who really, who really cares? What is she? Chloe, are you okay? What is wrong with you? There's nothing over here. She just snapped. Mmm. You guys, if you haven't tried 
Wendy's breakfast. It is good. I'm not even a breakfast person. But it's so good. But yeah, I'm just trying to do what I can. I've been working out every day. I'm not going to the gym. I just rode by the gym today and people are actually there. And I can't fathom why. But that's their business. I've been doing the stairs. I've been doing kettlebell workouts. You know, I'm just trying to really not get fat. I've been losing weight, thankfully. So we're on track, guys. Chloe, what are you growling at? The bugs? But anyway, I hope you guys are staying busy if you find yourself getting bored. Hopefully, because of your job, you're able to work from home. It's just uh, so hard to hear about the people who work in like the restaurant industry or maybe some retailers who are out of jobs now. Like, I don't think anybody thought this was how the year was going to go. I didn't even know coronavirus existed until maybe a month ago. Mm. But on the bright side, we all have things to be thankful for. And a lot of us are using this time to do things that we didn't have time to do previously. But nonetheless, it's still a trying time. And I don't know about you guys, but my hands are so chapped from all the hand sanitizer and the hand washing. Oh boy. Mm. It's been so long since I've done a mukbang, you guys. I stopped doing them because if you haven't noticed, last year I just stopped doing things on my channel that brought negative attention because people are just so miserable and negative. And I, I, if you haven't realized I'm in such a great positive space, I don't want to welcome any negativity into my life. And after like the dumb comments about me feeding Chloe and putting the food back in my mouth, like I know some of the trolls aren't of the highest intelligence, but <laughs> I mean, I love my dog, but do you really think I'm putting food in my mouth after putting it in hers? Why would I do that? I think some of you guys are just so obsessed that you watch and you're so obsessed while you're watching that you're not even processing information. You're just like, oh my God, look what that girl beauty did. Uh. But anyway, I stopped doing mukbangs because of that. Are they good? <laughs> and because I've been on my weight loss journey, losing 50 pounds. I mean, now it's a little less. But um, I just felt like mukbangs perpetuate overeating and binging all things that I don't want to do. And yeah, they're just not healthy for me. <laughs> so this is like a special occasion mukbang. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. I have missed chatting with you guys. But hopefully you've been watching the vlogs because I am vlogging again. You guys, this Wendy's breakfast. Ugh. It's not something I can eat for another three or four months though. Because you can get addicted to this. But luckily... There are things you can do to control your carb and your fat intake. Taking off the bread. Mm. That was really tasty. But, hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. Let me know down below like what you're doing to stay active, positive, and a healthy mindset. All that great stuff. Um, while we're all going through this together, this is like the first thing, like it's the first pandemic I think I've ever experienced in my lifetime. So it's been quite interesting, but I'm faring well, you know, we're getting through it. 
Hope you guys are doing well. I'm sending virtual hugs to all of you. I wish I could hug you. Um, so yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I will see you in the next video. Bye. You wanna say bye? Come on, come on. No? Okay, bye.